Hey guys, Bomb Primus here, and today I'm continuing on with DC Universe Online. And yes, I changed my character's look. I always do that once I get new armor and stuff like that. Um, as you can see here, I'm trying to go for like a uh, angel type of look going on, kind of like a fallen angel, kind of like Castiel from uh, what you might call it, Supernatural, uh, which is by far one of my favorite shows. Uh, not because the guys are good looking, but uh, mostly because of the show is just damn good. Sorry, I'm drinking some water. My mouth is really dry, I just came back from the gym, and I'm like, ugh, so sore right now. So, uh, other than that, yeah, uh, today we're going to do whatever, obviously, the title of the video is. I really don't know. I have all these armors and stuff like that, um, and I'm just going to keep them uh, to see what I'm going to do with them. Maybe you can't really trade you know, really tra this armor, which is the unfortunate part, or give it to your... Um, alts, so that's bullshit. I don't know why they do that. I guess to make you play the other uh, characters in your freaking uh, accounts and everything. Not accounts, but your other characters and everything like that. Uh, today I'm going to do an 8 player. Let's see here. Sorry, my nose is a little bit runny. Uh, let's see here. Have you done Nexus of Reality? No, you haven't actually. Let's see if we can get into that bad boy. All right, let's start next to reality and get this started. All right, oh, there we go. Hopefully, you don't jump into a match that's already started. That'll be unfortunate. Okay, let's see how this goes. Okay, I can tell the volume on my microphone is really low. So what I'm gonna do is probably talk a little bit louder, or uh, actually, I'm gonna leave it like that and I can edit in post. Um, probably better for that so there's less background noise and all that shit you know what I mean just hear my voice um, let's see here I'm still trying to work it out on using my uh, editing programs oh man they already did the first boss okay where's everyone at oh they're over here and um, I'm trying to work on Adobe After Effects but that program is a little bit more complicated than Sony Vegas so I gotta like watch some YouTube videos and learn how to use that program. Uh, the reason why I want to use Adobe After Effects is because obviously, well, you know, it has uh, better capabilities and uh, video editing. I can add more stuff to it, you know, do tweaks to the videos, things like that. So I want that's what I want to do, and um, I'm gonna see if I can practice doing After Effects this weekend. Okay. As you see here, I switched my weapon. Hold on, the volume is a little bit too loud on my end. Um, as you can see here, I just changed my weapon uh, because it was stronger than the one I had before. I did get weapon mastery, but I'm still kind of working out how to use it correctly. All right, and the timing, it's always about timing. Um, that's the main thing. Okay, so we, basically if you missed this, the first part is you fighting a whole bunch of Lex Luthers. And then after that, you have to go through all these rooms and fight different Lex Luthers one at a time. So that, come on, there we go. Let me see here. Nope, I didn't. I didn't time it right. I gotta, I gotta do it right before it ends. There we go. Nope, did it too soon. Hold on. I'm saving my trinket for the bot. Don't touch these robots on the sides, uh, because then. Um, which I call it, you wake them up and then you have to fight more robots, which is they're easy, but still nevertheless, you wanna try to avoid fighting them when you're you know doing hordes of you know fights and everything like that. So we're doing pretty good with this team, you know, giving them power and whatnot. Um Okay, this is one of the other Lex Luthers you have to fight, I think this is the Oh, and they just jump right into it. Alright, alright. Some of my little minions, some of my little blossom here called Amy. Like in Big Bang Theory because her name is Amy. And um, if you guys don't know, Amy from Big Bang Theory originally had a show called Blossom when she was a kid. Uh, but then she stopped acting and she actually got her degree in neural, um, neurobiology, which is actually true. Uh, funny enough, the show originally wanted Amy to be uh, a psychologist, but when they found out the actress had a degree in neurobiology, they're like, fuck it, that, that makes our lives simpler easier. A little debuff there. I think we got a good team here. Come 
Come on. There we go. So, we have a really good team. Usually this, these fights last pretty long if you don't have a good team with you. Oh, come on. I dodged it, man. Ugh. He has that one-hit KO attack you gotta be careful with. I think it's like a smoke. No, the smoke was the other one. So I'm locked out, so I can't do anything. Uh, I always usually repair my armor. I have like a million five hundred um, money, so I really have no worries about that. You know, I'm rich to the bone here. Um, I was going to buy some other equipment and stuff, but I was like, nah, I'll just save the money. Uh, because there's really no equipment that I like at the moment, so I'm just saving it up. But as you can see here, you know, we just got to wait. And chill. And if you're wondering what kind of armor I'm wearing, uh, the shoulders, I think, are Sector. Uh, there's something Sector. Um, the wings are Rapture. The hat is a Scarecrow hat, which cost me a good million. Um, then I got the Primal Defender, uh, which is basically the uh, Primal Batman's um, got, uh, hands. Then I'm wearing the, uh, was it the Timeline uh, Leggings? Uh, we, we defeated him? Nope. And then for the boots, I am wearing the uh, Master Mercenary uh, belt. You can't really wear a belt with this uh, chest plate because of the chest covers it up. But this is the Gunslinger. This is what you get for doing the uh, getting 800 Valor um, in PvP matches uh, in Legends or regular PvP. And you just get that for 800 and whatnot. And uh, the mask is uh, basically the, uh, what you call it, the one of the, uh, what you call it, oh. Uh, gas masks. I forgot what they were called. Um, but this one's a pretty cool looking one. I think a lot of people wear this one for when they do the uh, Scorpion or Sub-Zero outfits and everything that you probably see from other people um, and everything. But I like I like this getup right now. It looks pretty cool. Kind of very angel-like. And the uh, trench, cloak, trench cloak cloak reminds me of uh, Castiel. So I figured I'd just go with wings. Um, so it fits pretty well with him. Kind of being all like fallen angel type of thing. All right. Okay. It's just timing this down. I'm just, I'm just trying to get away from him. There we go. Get my minions out here. A little bit of extra damage here. Oh, we gotta get some people to revive. I got you. I got you. As long as he doesn't do a KO attack on us. All right. There we go. There we go. I think we got him. I think we got him. Damn it. There we go. Damn, he keeps on stunning me. Damn, what the hell? This guy has 1500 dominance too, so I don't know what the fuck. There we go. I guess we just fucked up with that one hit KO he did to us. That's pretty much it. And he destroyed those boxes, and that's it. That's basically for him. Just gotta unlock all these. Attention. Target instant, what is it? Uh, canisters or whatever. Alright, then off to the next area. Force here. Engaged. 
As you can see here, the hit combo for the dual wield is pretty good. For these guys, I'm not going to do long range. I can do close up and personal. Oh, someone touched him. Okay, I'll probably do uh, another Midnight Masquerade after this. The Halloween event, because it's ending very soon. It's the last week of uh, October. So... You are just gotta do that. Okay, I think... Batman's yeah. Game. This is the uh, well, second to I think that the uh, no, I second second like mini second to last move. mini boss, <laughs> and this is basically just a horde of people coming at you. Okay. Oh shit! Put my little Amy out here. Damn it! Brooklyn mastery. There we go. And Weapon Mastery, I, it's, uh, I was talking to some guy on uh, the comment section in one of my videos, and he's saying that Weapon Mastery is the best. Weapon Mastery is the best. He's like, yeah, don't get me wrong, Weapon Mastery does a lot of damage. But as a controller, um, I'm not really focusing on damage. And yes, I know that... Uh, damn it. Um, it gives me more power if I do Weapon Mastery, but I just find Weapon Mastery a nuisance. Because it... it you gotta time it right, and you know, some weapon masteries are easier to do than others. Like, um, I know with the um, what you call it, the uh, rifle and the pistol, it's really easy to do. All I have to do is just time it correctly. All right, so. I'm kind of like, I'm always experimenting with my character, always switching weapons and, you know, trying different layouts and all that stuff. And everything like that, so I, I, I like mixing it up with giving power, doing damage and things like that. Like, because when I play a game, I want to do damage. I just don't want to, like, be a constant, like, you know, support character. So I try to mix it up a bit. That's why I'm kind of attacking right now. Whoa, what the hell was that? He just hit me with one shot. All right. Let's heal up a little bit. Let's wait a while. Next, you gotta defeat the Sentinels. Uh, these guys, you gotta time it the right way. You can't, um, you can't really kill them individually. It's uh, basically you have to kill them simultaneously, as it says there. Just keep on going down here. Once you're down here, this is where. That was basically... Oh, what? Wow, something just killed us instantly. That was bullshit, dude. Oh, someone's another gadget here as well. It's all the fear gas. Most likely he has probably EMP grenade. Most people are using that now. Well, that ain't being grenade. EMP blast, which is a... Uh, 
It's a radial attack that uh, increases your damage like fucking like shit ton. Um, I think people said like, oh, I could do a million damage with it. I haven't seen that as of yet, but I wouldn't be surprised if someone was able to do that. Um, I personally haven't tried it yet because I'm um, obviously I'm a controller, not a DPS. So I really don't need to use EMP. EMP is, if you look at it, it's uh, more damage based than anything else. It's not really uh, controller based whatsoever. Uh, if there is, I probably don't know about it. Excuse. Okay, right, whatever. Right, right when we have to, like, you know, defeat this last boss here. I got you, buddy. I got you. Security we controllers got, we got, just gotta stick together. Throw a little, there we go. I'm not even hitting anything. Okay. So I guess we're going for this guy first. <laughs> Just wait until everybody comes. You should be safe around here. If once you get into the room, that's when he starts attacking. You don't want him down to 100%, um, you know, health. You want him down about like maybe 90% and then go to the other side and attack the other guy. And then like four people stay on this side, the other four people go on the other side and attack him. And then basically right when you see him, like your other teammates kill the guy, you kill him real quickly too. So they usually give you like about like 10 seconds in between uh, before you have to kill the other guy. And I guess they're, wait a minute, what are they doing? Oh, I think they're like, okay, one group go over there, the other group go on the other side. But there's only me and this other dude here. I don't know if this guy can actually do it. Buffalo Bill. Oh, Buffalo Bill. Isn't that the uh, a serial killer that killed people back in Chicago and then, like, skinned them and then wore their skin and pretend to be a lady, but he was a dude? I don't know. Some weird shit like that. I guess we'll just wait here until everybody gets ready. But yeah, that's uh, this is basically Nexus Reality. Sorry, I didn't show you the full video of it, guys. But uh, you know, shit happens. I'll probably do another video of uh, you of me showing uh, the beginning of the fight. Whoa! What the fuck was that? That was like a super powered fucking robot there. Shit just wiped out everybody in this and hit. I just like ran up there. Look, there's that guy right there. There's a little piece of shit right there. There he goes. Okay, let's go back. Get some water here. My voice, my throat's a little bit dry. dry. Oh, he's got to hydrate, man. I try to drink more water every day, but you know, sometimes when I'm like working and stuff, I forget to drink water, and um, I go throughout a whole day without drinking any water. It's not like I'm purposely doing it. It's just not, I'm just so busy working, I just forget to drink water. But uh, I try to drink at least a gallon of water every day. And we're going left again. All right, I'm going left. Let's go. Intruders will be eliminated. There we go. All right, on to the next part. Come on, you bastard! No, you bitch! Some DPSs here use a lot of fucking power all at once. Um, if you're using power too much as a DPS, you're doing something wrong. There you go. And then there was like some... The same guy that was actually talking to me about... Uh, the weapon master was saying like, oh, as a controller, you got to control the enemies, which is true. That's why they call them controllers. Uh, but however, um, that's not really true. What the hell's going on? Oh, the dog. What the fuck? I think the dog is farting, but he's making weird noises. All right. And so 
Like, to be honest, a controller, yes, a controller's... One of his jobs is to, um... To debuff and to control the enemies. And everything like that. But I think the main role for controller, which most people probably would agree with me, is that you're supposed to give power. Because, you know... Without power, how are you supposed to, um... Your teammate's supposed to, like, gain power to defeat the enemy and stuff like that. Especially for, uh, tanks and healers. They have a tendency to lose a lot of fucking power and everything, so, you know, as controller, I believe the main role is to give power and then debuff as your secondary, kind of like on your in-between of um, using your abilities for, like, instant power and PLT and everything like that. Because PLT, it's automatically there after you use your PLT ability. It's, um, oh wait, stop, stop, stop. Um... Because PLT is 20 seconds, uh, 5 second intervals, so you basically get like uh, 4, um, basically f 4 times you regenerate power with the PLT cycle, and then um, you use your instant power for like quickly gaining power for your teammates and everything like that. Alright, and then in between there you should use your debuffs and everything like that, which is which I try to do most of the time here. So... And everything like that. So I, I think the main role for controller, I think, like I said, most people would agree with me, is to give power, then debuff and control the enemies. Obviously, if you have two controllers, you can have one guy doing the PLT and the instant power while the other guy does the um, debuffing and controlling of the enemies. Um, I think the, the only time where controlling the enemies is crucial is uh, probably in Assault and Battery. You have to get the Manhunters, which is very important. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, someone go come with me to the other side. Did he just get full health? No. Come on. Access denied. God, his damn guy shields. There we go. Now we just gotta fight the council, and which is basically okay. This is this is where it gets a little bit difficult. Um, what you want to do is trying to focus your attack on one of the Lex Luthers, kill them, and uh, make sure that when you see one of your buddies with a shield, like a white shield around them, you get close to them. Because if you're not close to that white shield of them, there's like a, I guess the, the Lex Luthers going to this rampage, in which if you're not within that little white shield, you get killed instantly. So you want to stay close to the person who has the white shield, and then usually what happens is the uh, white shield gets transferred over to someone else. And... Um, you just want to stay close to them, so always make sure you're keeping an eye on who gets the, um... Oh, shit. You always want to make sure... Oh, shit. I got him, I got him. There we go. You could probably kick through this with no problem if no one dies.
Anybody with the shields? Oh shit. Come on guys, you gotta focus on people when they're dying. Guess you wanna stay near this guy. See there, he gives like a protective barrier that protects you from like outside attacks from the Lex Uthers. There we go, and that's how you do it. There you go. Yeah, we defeated him. Motherfucker. On your knees, Lex Uther. Sock mod. Dick. There you go. It's like, oh man, what's going on? I'm getting the fuck out of here, man. Oh, douchebags. All right, I did my job. I did 400,000 power out. That's good. The healer did amazing. A million. So, I guess she was there from the beginning. So, I probably would have gotten a little bit more if I was here from the beginning. So, that's pretty much it. And, oh, if you guys are wondering, there are investigations. If there, There's one over here if you don't know. Uh, if you're looking for it. Okay, and then let's see. What awards do you get? Since I haven't been in this one um, in a while, I do have everything here. Uh, traces in time. Legacy. Uh, legs. This is the one I'm wearing right now. Okay, just equip that. Got a collection, two out of eight. And then you get 12,000 marks of triumph for that. Plus the 1,200 you got from previously. Uh, this ring, I don't think it's better than, no, my other rings are better, the level 90 and 93, and they give me more vit, and they have, uh, synthetics on it. If you're wondering why I'm, uh, I'm putting crappy synthetics on it, it's because I don't want, I want to get the best armor first, and then convert, uh, my exobytes to do it, and on top of that, I really haven't, um, looked for my more exobytes, so that's why I probably don't have a lot of them. At the moment, and that's basically it. All right, let me see if I get anything new. League of Assassins, it's the old cape, great, or tank armor, exceptional recovery kit, which I'll put over here. Okay. No, this weapon sucks too. It's not that good. I already have it anyway. Um, so that's basically it, guys. That's um. That is the raid for um, Nexus of Reality. It's basically you go against the Lex Luthers, you get the little trinket, and basically that's it. But make sure that when you fight them, um, and this one you really didn't see anybody get killed, um, but you should stay in the little bubble where one of your allies is, um, you know, has and everything because it protects you. Um, the radius is not that big, so you have to stay pretty close to them. Uh, other than that, you should be fine if you just do that and if you have a good team that can basically burn through it pretty quickly like we just had. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Okay, guys? And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode of DC Universe Online. This one's a pretty quick one, but obviously I didn't show you the beginning, so I'll do another video later on uh, showing you the beginning of Nexus of Reality and then, you know, probably do a full playthrough for that one, all right? But it's hard to get into these matches that have not been started and everything like that you know it's it's a rare occasion you usually get into a match that's already started which kind of sucks but uh, you know i just want to show you guys the gist of it all right and that's pretty much it all right if you have any comments or concerns just leave a comment section below or message me uh if you want to play with me on dc universe online there's no problem just me uh, message me on the psn all right uh it is palm promise 2117 it's in the description below uh, as long along with my uh, villain and hero name that i use the most all right, other than that, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys around. This is Palm Primus. Keep it crunchy and peace out. Hey guys, it's Bomb Primus here. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more DC Universe Online videos, just press the link in the video right now. Otherwise, just press like and leave a comment in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Palm Primus Zero, if you want to see more gameplay footages I've done. Also, for those who want to see my Mass Effect videos, go to my second channel, To Chunk of Pie Jacks. And also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Facebook. This is Palm Primus. Keep it crunchy and peace out.